Alright guys, welcome back. Um, another little thing I'm going to do, just as a bit of an addendum, I guess, to the two shooting tutorials I did, is to just show you quickly a little thing about um, image direction and angles. So, as a thing a few people have asked like in the comments and stuff, is like generally the tutorials on how to you know, make things rotate or change angles and stuff like that. Um, so, like in the process of just sort of neatening up the game, as you can see, I've got some stars and stuff going on in the background, um, and stuff like that. I figured I would make, you know, if you remember from the last shooting tutorial, I made the bullets spread out, um, but obviously they're like straight line bullets, so they they looked a bit weird when they were spreading out and like not changing the actual angle of the bullet. So I figured, you know, I would quickly fix that, and while I was doing that it occurred to me that it would be a very good opportunity to actually show you guys how to dynamically change the angle of something in your game and like a f like based on the direction it's traveling in so you could make like a top-down tank or something like that that like rotates around and moves around you know that kind of thing um, so basically the thing you have to do in preparation for this first of all if you want to make something change angle based on the direction it's going is to edit your sprite. As you might remember, our sprite was originally um, like a tall rectangle. Um, you need to make it because of how I explained how direction works. You need to make it um, facing to the right. Whatever your sprite is, if it's a tank, spaceship, or whatever, you want to draw it initially facing to the right. This is because direction zero is to the right, and you know direction ninety is up. Direction. 180 is left, you know, so on and so forth, 360 degrees of uh, rotation. So, like, you want to draw it initially facing the right because that's what your direction is by default. So, I've changed the, the bullet here to, to be a, a thin rectangle, like, um, as opposed to a tall rectangle, so that it can be considered to be facing to the right and set its origin to be uh, still at the back of the bullet. So, at, like, um, I think the origin is something like. Uh, I don't know why it's minus two, I should set that to zero, zero and one, so yeah, it's, it's then the middle, all the way to the left. Um, so that's that, and now well, what we want to do now is make it so, well, I'll say what we want to do, what I've already done, and I'm just going to show you how I did it, is uh, I went to step event, and I said image angle equals direction, simple as that. And I did that in the step event, so every single frame of the game, um, the object will check what direction it's facing, and it will adjust its um, the angle of its sprite to match its direction. Um, so now, as we can see from the last tutorial, if I hold space, you can see now that the bullets are actually facing the direction that they're being shot in. And that's really, you know, I mean, it's a simple example, but that's pretty much how... You, know, you can do that throughout um, any kind of thing that needs to rotate or change angle in your game. So yeah, that's that. That's just a little simple thing I wanted to add on top of the, the last shooting tutorials um, that will just help you understand how to change the rotation angle of anything. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, that very, very simple little tutorial. See you next time, guys.